So there's no doubt about it that 2023 was by far the worst year for the Walt Disney Company. We all know this and they know it as well. The Disney executives, the board of directors, Bob Iger, the CEO, because of all of the box office flops and everything that came in between, such as Elon Musk calling out Bob Iger, even South Park Studios making fun of Kathleen Kennedy and the current status of Disney. It wasn't a good year for them because it fell on their 100th year anniversary. But here we are in 2020. 24, and what looms for 2025 is not looking good at all for Bob Iger, especially when it comes to those like Rachel Zegler and how we now have Jenna Ortega in this scenario that really is kind of creating a ripple effect. Let's get into all of this, shall we? This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. So one thing about Rachel Zegler, and we've talked about this many times, is that she is a very self-absorbed individual, someone that really believes that everything should revolve around her. She, of course, is an example of the many actors and or actresses that fall into the insufferables, as I like to call them. You know, we got a lot of them out there in Hollywood and in the film industry. But what's interesting about this is that we know that Jenna Ortega has been calling out the film industry and studios like the Walt Disney Company studios like, of course, Warner Brothers and Universal and among others that have really meddled with the concepts of DEI. Disney, you know, not just meddling with it, really going all out with it. But what's interesting about this has a lot more to do with Jenna Ortega and the Rachel Zegler drama that's been going on behind closed doors over at Disney and exactly what really sparked this drama. So let's get into this. Now, what's interesting about all this is that with Jenna Ortega already dealing with multiple setbacks at the Walt Disney Company after attempting to make a massive comeback with the company, especially after all the Rachel Zegler drama for the new animated project by Disney codenamed Blue Wave, one significant development going on right now involves how Jenna Ortega recently had a major situation with Zegler as they were both of course cast for this new animated project that is fully intended to compete against Shrek 5. Now, since Jenna is still attached to this project and has access to Disney, it turns out Rachel was involved in recent drama with Jenna Ortega after Rachel was demanding Ortega to provide her valuable advice about her new Snow White 2025 film. Now, Ortega reportedly already handed Zegler the hard truth about how much of a failure she was at handling the PR for the film, and even provided more constructive criticism about her role with the Snow White marketing campaign, and how she should handle it all differently by not fusing real-world events and fictional stories on social media. Now, it turns out Zegler was deeply offended by this advice that Ortega provided to her, and how Ortega also called out Disney's DEI agenda to Zegler. Now, this is something that they both heavily disagreed about, and it led to in-studio fighting between the two actresses. This all comes well after Zegler was removed from Project Blue Wave, which is intended to be an animated crossover film of all Disney characters in one for 2026. Now, guys, we talked about this previously, that this new Blue Wave project, that's the code name, is going to be an animated movie, Shrek-style to compete against Shrek 5 by DreamWorks, and yes, that is coming out in the next couple of years. It's in the works. So Disney's really trying to step their game up with this movie and having Ortega at the forefront voicing this iconic Disney princess that's now going to be race swapped, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. This is something that she has a very big problem with that Rachel was offended by as well, by the way, about how Jenna was against Disney, which really just goes to show you that Rachel really is all for the DEI agenda, everything about Disney's overall ideology. So on top of this, this development of Jenna wanting to drop out also deeply offended Zegler about her stance on DEI and how Ortega has a growing issue with the way Disney is handling the company today. The main reason why Jenna and Zegler even know each other stems from Project Blue Wave and the falling out between the two after Zegler was removed from that project after all of her Snow White drama. 
Now, Jenna reportedly kept pressing Zegler to knock it off with mixing real-world events and acting like an activist on social media. All of this was called out behind the scenes, and surprisingly, it even offended some of the Disney executives, which is why Jenna's involvement, blue, involvement with Blue Wave is very shaky right now. Jenna is reportedly set to voice a very popular Disney princess character, like I said earlier, in animated form this time around. However, it's unclear who, but Disney is aiming to rebrand the character Character by race swapping the character and changing the entire backstory as well. So let me just say one thing about that guys, that's another example of how Disney is not only going into the race swapping, but they're also diverting from source material of popular characters, alright? We talked about this, about how they are about to do this with the Snow White character as well by diverting away from the 1937 source material and even the Brothers Grimm source material on a massive scale in the upcoming live action remake. Now something that Jenna is of course fighting right now that Rachel was livid about has a lot to do with her stance on DEI. Since Rachel looks up to Jenna Ortega as an idol of success, this was a disappointment to her. The drama that sparked between the two actresses is still an ongoing thing within the Walt Disney Company, especially after Zegler was removed from several Disney related projects which did not help the situation either. Now in addition to all of this, Jenna also backed out of the Pirates of the Caribbean reboot film just recently after learning, Zegler was their previous top choice as well, only for DEI purposes. So that's another thing, and we've talked about this before, they have this new Pirates of the Caribbean reboot on the horizon that's going to be full of DEI hires and full of the Disney ideology. I don't think it's going to work. No Johnny, no Pirates. I always say this, I always like to say this, but if you got no Jack Sparrow, it's not going to fly, period, the end. So this whole stand between Jenna and Rachel and how Rachel is all for DEI and Jenna's all against it, this basically is the source of why the two actresses had a falling out and really had a growing issue in studio when it came to Project Blue Wave. Now, Bob Iger and the Disney heads, we already know that they are in an endless you know, a uh, loophole, basically, of really kick-starting all these emergency meetings for all of their divisions, whether it's Lucasfilm, whether it's Marvel Studios, or the many live-action remakes that are up and coming. Uh, some of which, by the way, consist of Hercules, Sword in the Stone, and even among others that are going to be redone completely. They're even thinking about redoing the Jungle Book again that will be done in a different format. And now we'll, we'll talk more about more, more about that because Bob Iger is going to be laying out a further plan uh, about the roadmap of what's coming out for the remainder of the 2020s uh, in within a month or so. Uh, that's going to be another big deal. But what's interesting about this is the fact that Jenna really put Rachel in her place. She really did. The fact that she not only publicly called this out, but she's also calling this out behind closed doors and really doing it to Rachel Zegler's face. The fact that she can't handle that constructive criticism or her stance on something that is just so wrong by Disney because you're not focusing on valuable stories or proper character development or just an entertaining story. They're just focusing on activism. So overall, guys, I would like to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later. Yeah.